So, guys, for those who are still playing Diablo 4, okay, um, in your seasonal journey, if you guys don't remember, you do not have to complete every single objective, okay? Um, as you are completing the objectives, you'll get all of these juicy rewards, okay? Um, so, I've completed all of these in that one. <clears throat> I haven't checked to see if there's some kind of achievement for it all yet, but um, as you can see here, I only completed 10 out of 11, and I advanced... I got all 13 here. I got all 12 here. Uh, 10 out of 11 here. <clears throat> and we get more epic favor aspects, right? And then some rewards for some item caches. 10 out of 11 here, same thing. Um, the aspect of audacity, which is cool, which is a new um, aspect for the season. A journey case. <clears throat> and then we actually completed the final one of Destroyer. And we got our Wrathful player title is uh, along with our Wrathful heart player title the other one heart and wrathful which is really cool and then we got our seventh journey cash um which is the only rare cash that you get for completing um all the uh, seasonal journey which we have we haven't done the the seeds we actually need to do that we need to go get a hundred thousand um to get the cosmetic but <clears throat> what i wanted to do was go ahead and pop this open just to see what we could get uh, I think some other people have talked about how it's really bad and people haven't got good things out of it. But we're going to crack this thing open and see what we get for completing our seasonal journey. So let's see. We get some uh, sigils. Uh, we get some souls, two uh, friend roses, three coiling wards, some baithful and fragments um, or baithful fragments, a crest, a ring and a ring. So we didn't get a single legendary from this cache. Uh, we did get our scroll of amnesia, oh, which I do not have a slot for it. Uh, for those who do not know, <clears throat> the scroll of amnesia allows you to refund uh, all of your allocated skill points and paragon points once. So this will automatically reset uh, all of your your entire paragon board as well as your entire skill tree um, and you'll be able to do that at no extra cost it is a one-time deal that you get in the game so <clears throat> um i will say this highly highly um disappointing when it comes to the final reward cash in your seasonal journey um to me, this kind of just simulates like opening up a tree of whispers cash for turning in completely random, nothing special at all about it, which really, really, uh, which really, really sucks because it doesn't really incentivize you to even finishing it. Like you, like you may, maybe you want to do the challenges here to get uh, some of the aspects especially early on but this is craven this is audacity and then the last one we it's not it's just a title so i guess maybe if you want the player title like that could be cool but otherwise like actively going to complete these challenges really are not i mean you don't get any rewards for it you know you know, there's no super cool cosmetics like there was in Diablo 3 with the wings, the pets, you know, all the banners and stuff like that. Like, I guess the player title is the equivalent of your banner and all that. But, um, yeah, it's pretty lackluster, man. I'm not going to lie. The, uh, the reward for this, these three items, I mean, let's take a look and see if they're any good. Let's take off my comparison here and just see if they're any good. So, the, the weapon mastery passive is here, but everything else is trash on the amulet. We got no good affixes on this ring. And we got one good affix on this ring for the almost max roll of vulnerable damage. So, uh, again, very, very disappointing, guys. I don't know what else to say about that. Um, now, I will tell you, though, for the faint of heart here, I did complete all of these by just passively playing. Okay, I completed all these for passively playing. You got enough here. You can see the ones that I got all of the objectives in because the red circle around it is complete. Uh, maybe there's an additional reward or something if you complete every single challenge that uh, the game has along your seasonal journey. Maybe, but I will tell you, I did not go once out of my way 
of trying to complete these at all i was just passively playing and we got everything that you needed for the journey so if maybe that's the balance where you don't actually have to try to like go after it and complete certain objectives kind of like in diablo 3 but overall uh seasonal journey kind of lackluster uh, i wish the rewards were much better we should at least be guaranteed some kind of ancestral legendary at least something cool or cosmetic or something that's really really unique because now we just have the the play the player title here that's it's wrathful so we got uh wrathful and then this said heart so I, that's the only thing that we that we got which you know there there we go so we got wrathful heart so that's nice uh but okay guys yeah like the video tell me what you guys got let me know down in the comments what you guys got out of your seasonal journey reward cash if you guys completed it otherwise make sure to subscribe and as always stay gaming catch you guys in the next one peace